how does a scrum master help with continuous excellence in a team? I'm not sure continuous is the right word there. Continued, maybe. Um, maintaining excellence, keeping an eye on it, focused on being the best you can be today. How does a scrum master help with that? We don't do the work. Okay? So whatever excellent looks like for your team, it's on them to establish. What we can do is challenge them, is keep pushing them forwards. Is there a better place to be? So we're going to deploy our coaching skills. We're going to be asking questions of them and challenging questions at that. Okay? Around the work they do, is there a better way? Is there a different way? How do you know this is better than that? To keep them thinking, can they improve? Is there an opportunity in their process, in their way of working, where they can get a little bit better? Or can they learn a little bit more about why what they're doing is better? Because all of that will add up to a continuing improvement. We're going to help them focus on their excellence by keeping them honest. By saying, this is your process. You decided on it. Our role it's just to be a mirror. We're going to reflect back to you how you're doing against your process. We don't mandate. So we're not going to come in and say, you're doing Scrum wrong. You need to do this, 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 and this. What we need to do as Scrum Masters and Agile Coaches is come in and say, what's your process? Why does it work like that? Okay. You think this is good? Brilliant. Well, as you go through, I'm just going to hold a mirror up to you. I'm going to let you know when you've drifted away from what you agreed. So they skip in the software world. They're not doing their test driven development. They're not doing unit tests. As a scrum master, it's not on us to say you're wrong. You should be doing this. It's on us to just go. I've noticed that there aren't as many unit tests being committed. Why is that? And let them answer it. Maybe they have a good reason. Likely they don't. They're busy, they're rushed. That was a corner they felt they could cut, so they cut it. We're there not as a guardian of their technical excellence, but as a guardian of their integrity. We're there to help them do what they said they would do. Okay. And obviously, inside that, we're going to push. Okay. I love it when Scrum Masters have good enough technical knowledge. If you're in the software world, doesn't mean you have to know everything about software. If you're outside of the software world and whatever your technical discipline is, you don't have to be an expert practitioner. In fact, there is some to be said about not being that expert. But what you do need is sufficient knowledge and understanding of the space they're in to be able to read around the subject, take time out and think, I wonder if this tool or technique will help them wonder if that could help them and inject that into the conversations. I will often approach conversations in a coaching scenario by suggesting somebody goes and reads a book, an article or whatever, because I can see a solution and I don't want to tell them the solution. I want them to own it. And me telling is not them owning. They need to go away. They need to read around it, have a think, maybe have a play. And if at the end of that, it works for them, great. They own it. It's their decision. If you want the praise, you're not getting it. Because that decision may be two or three months further on. It's been sat percolating in the back of their mind and it just pops up and you'll hear them say, oh, I've been looking at this tool and I think it will really help us. And the team will look at them and go, great idea. Let's give it a go. There'll be no mention of you. And that's OK. That's not our role. Our role is to keep them as good as they are and getting better. And we do that by them owning their process and us being that mirror. If you've got to this point in the video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, a like would be appreciated. If you want to hear more from me, more answers to questions that maybe you've got in the Agile world, please subscribe to the channel. And if you've got a question that you really want answered, drop it in the comments. I promise we'll get around to it. Thank you.